deal right there. Uh -huh. That's what we're out here after. That's what we're yeah. really trying to catch right uh -huh. there. And your job is to get that hook out of his That's mouth. That's not my job, Jimmy. That's your job. Yeah. That's your fish. Well, then you give me the wrench. <laughs> well, stick your finger down there. It won't hurt. No, he got them teeth, man. Well, Look. those are baby teeth. Uh -huh. Baby teeth. You're not, you're not afraid sharp to stick your finger down there, Sharp as needles. Are you Let not going in. down in there, are you? Yeah. Jim? Get your traveling shoes on, because we're going to be traveling cross-country today, starting with little Jimmy Dickens from the Grand Ole Opry, doing a little fishing on Truman Lake in Missouri. We're going to travel then all the way over to Roosevelt Lake in Arizona. And yes, Virginia, they do have bass in Arizona. Back a few years before I was born, a young man from Beckley, West Virginia, was doing early morning radio shows in places like Saginaw, Michigan, Topeka, Kansas, Indianapolis, Cincinnati, Ohio. One day a guy came to town named Roy Acuff, and Roy asked him to sing for him. And then he took him to Nashville to the Grand Ole Opry, and that guy's been there ever since. He's been on the Grand Ole Opry for 43 years. And that young man is none other than everybody's favorite, Little Jimmy Dickens. I mean, I guess everybody's favorite songs is Does Your Chewing Gum Lose Its Flavor on the Bedpost Overnight? Sleeping at the Foot of the Bed, an old country boy like me can definitely identify with Sleeping at the Foot of the Bed when company come. Songs like that made Jimmy popular and famous all over the country, and he's been entertaining ever since, making people laugh, making people happy. Jimmy's going to be our guest today. I fished and hunted with Jimmy before. Jimmy's a great turkey hunter, great fisherman, and we're going to be fishing, summertime fishing today. The lake we're going to be on, Truman Lake, giant lake, 55,000 acres, over 900 miles of shoreline, and a lake that's really known for good fishing during the hot summer months. We're fishing in July. It's been over 100 degrees here on Truman for, gosh, several days now. Hopefully, we'll get a little break from that heat. We're supposed to get some clouds this afternoon. We're supposed to get some thunder boomers come in here. Hopefully, we don't get rained on. And to make it a little bit tougher, the bass are biting real good, but we're not even going to fish for bass. We're going to fish for walleye. Now, I know walleye is a northern fish, but Truman Lake has got a lot of good walleye in it. We're going to be fishing some humps and ridges out in the middle of the lake, a long way from the bank. Probably be throwing some crankbaits. I know we're going to be jigging some spoons. And when you're fishing for these walleye out there, you don't tell what you might catch. We might catch white bass. We might catch crappie. I don't know. But, but we should have a good day and a lot of fun. We're fishing out of Osage Bluff Marina and Motel here on Truman. And one of the things about Truman Lake it probably has some of the finest marina operations of any place I've ever fished around the country. Beautiful facilities and great facilities. And you know, Osage Bluff Marina here has kind of become a little bit of a tourist attraction in itself because the old boy that owns this place, Walt Reynolds, has got some pet bass that hangs around the dock down there. And what he does, he's got his minnow tanks there, and when the minnows die, instead of just throwing them out on the bank, he throws them in the water and he's got all these pet bass that live under the dock. And he just feeds them, and they'll just come up and grab those minnows, and it's just a great thing. People gather around everywhere to watch that. Some of these fish are six and seven and eight pound fish. Most of those big ones won't hit anything, anything except real early in the morning. But it's really neat to see those fish. Even crappie will come up there sometime, brim, bluegill, but mostly bass. And it, you know, it's a good way to dispose of the dead minnows. And uh, I asked Walt if Jimmy and I could fish there, and he thought it over for about two seconds and said no. But it's going to have a good day on Truman Lake. Hopefully the temperature will stay below 100, and hopefully we can catch and find some of those walleye out there today. Little Jimmy Dickens from the Grand Ole Opry. Does he feel like pretty good in Jimmy? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice walleye. Pretty walleye. Hang on there. I'll get back here. I'll get back here and help you with him, partner. That's what we come out. Ooh. And then get back Nelly. here. Eat the prop off the of motor now, bud. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. Oh, yeah. All right. That's a deal right there. Uh -huh. That's what we're out here after. That's what we're yeah. really trying to catch right uh -huh. there. And your job is to get that hook out of his That's mouth. That's not my job, Jimmy. <laughs> That's your job. Yeah. That's your fish. Well, then you give me the wrench. <laughs> well, stick your finger down there. It won't hurt. No, he got them teeth, man. Well, Look. those are baby teeth. Uh -huh. Baby teeth. You're not, you're not afraid sharp to stick as, your finger down there, sharp are you? Sharp as needles. Are you Let not going in. down in there, are you? Yeah. Jim? If he wiggles, I'm in trouble, right? Yes, he is. I'm going to tell you what I might do. I might give him that CC spoon. How about some needle nose? You got some needle nose? Just about got it. Ooh. 
Be <laughs> pretty. You know, when we're bass fishing, we always throw these fish back, and Jimmy and I catch any largemouth bass today, well, we're going to release them. I'll tell you what we're going to do with this. We're going to release this and introduce him to some hot grease, aren't we? That's right. Let's release him right here to make this line. <laughs> right, well, what do you right say? Right in the water where, it's, where it'll be nice and cool for Let's him. Keep him right in there. Yeah. You bet. Look at there. That's pretty. Yeah, he got Medic. Medic. If I tell him to bite me one time, I'll take a bite uh, any time. They got a little old needle-looking thing, too, on that gill. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. That, look at there. That's, where, that's the, where he got you. That's where the gill plate got mm -hmm. me right there. That's where. But I had a good... Well, I got bit right there, too. I'm bleeding all over. The man's wounded. Well, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> They're going to have to go to the hospital. It's been a real good fishing trip, a short one, but we'll be back sometime as soon as we get through going to get... You know, I can have Band-Aids all over me. <laughs> I'm going to get back up my end of the boat. Okay. That was all right. I'll just leave a dip net back here. You're doing all the catching. <laughs> I wish I knew where I would caught that one. Oh, there's one right there. There's a walleye. Give me a walleye. I just barely got that. And you know, I'll tell you what, he wasn't pulling very good at all. He started pulling pretty good there, Jimmy. Oh, you got your one, Lil. Yeah, me, Mr. Walleye. All right. He's pretty. I'll tell you, pretty fish. You know, the only place that a walleye is prettier than he is swimming around out there doing that? In, in the skillet. skillet. <laughs> yes. Isn't they nice? Oh, he sure is. He about like that one I got, wasn't he? Yeah. I think mine's bigger than yours. You reckon? <laughs> <laughs> what Jimmy and I are fishing out here to, right now, and what we're going to be fishing today, is humps and points. Now, this is a point. If you'll see, it comes off of that little piece of land right there. Right where that little point comes out, and it comes right on out the lake. It drops off on both sides. There we you go. got him? Yeah. He's on there. Small walleye. No, it's a catfish. It is. Tater, you catch anything in a swim, boy. What about that? <laughs> I'll tell you what I believe I'd do if I was you. I believe I'd put him in that live well with them walleye. What do you think? What do you think? I think he'll eat good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe he will. I believe he'll eat real good. Back when I was in college... You just keep your mouth shut there. Back when I was in college, I paid my way through college catching catfish and selling them. You I, did? Yeah, trot lines, rod and reels. I you had did? several trot lines out on the lake. Uh-huh. I mean, I, I'd, I'd sell them for 50 cents a pound, just like that. 50 cents a pound. Yeah. And if they dressed, I'd sell them for a buck a pound. All right. And I paid my way through college doing that right well, there. Jimmy Houston, I didn't know that. I had hey, caught, that. I'm probably the world's greatest cat fisherman. <laughs> or up in the top ten. I'm going to tell you what. Pretty well. That baby's going in there with them walleye. There he is right there. I think it's a walleye. Pretty nice walleye, if it is. Yeah, a pretty yeah. nice walleye. That's what That's he a, is. Nice. Let's get in this boat. That's a nice walleye right there, isn't it? Don't, don't, don't jump out. Well, he's got every hook in him that there is. I'm worried about him. Worried about him jumping out. He's got every hook. Isn't that a pretty walleye? That is Beautiful. a nice one, isn't it, Taylor? Absolutely. Now that's what Jimmy and I came out here today to catch. We've caught everything else in the world. We've had really a, a we've had a neat day out here because of the fact that we've had a lot of different things happen. We've had these little old thunderstorms bouncing around, you know, and and a wind would come up and then it would lay down. It was hot, but it's pretty nice out here now. And uh, we've got just you know just kind of general clouds. It's just perfect, perfect fishing. And uh, well, I'm gonna fool around, try to unhook this, and it'll take me about an hour. And we'll put him in the live well, and we're going to have us a fish fry tonight. Yes, sir. Fish fry big time. Golly! Oh, don't you lose him. Especially after I got him unhooked. <laughs> Walleye and catfish, Tater. Walleye and catfish. That'll go over big. Get in there. Good live little fish. Enjoy it, partner. Yeah, me too. Good night. Good night.